Hey man, um, just a quick update. So we went to the Trevi Fountain as well after all the other Rome stuff and it was pretty good. Sat on the edge of it, chucked some coins in, it was pretty good. Touched the water, didn't drink it, didn't swim in it because that would have been naughty, but still chucked a coin in it. And then we went to Pompeii, that was pretty cool. Got to see all the ruins because Mount Vesuvius just exploded like 2,000 years ago and that was, it just made, turned everything into lava and everything's like pretty well preserved, like we saw bodies and a dog and there was one funny bit, there was like a little alley or a little dark house and we went in there and it was pretty dark and then Ray and I hid in there until some American guy came in and then he went do 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 do, walked in and went wah! and we scared him and that was one of the highlights of the day but one of the other ones was when we were walking out we were so buggered it was such a long day, it was so hot it was good but it was so hot and we did so much walking and we were walking out down this really steep hill and this family was walking up and mum, dad, daughter and brother and uh, mum and dad walked past us and the little kids there with these cameras going trying to take a picture of all the niceties in Pompeii and do 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 whoop and he tripped over this big rock and I guess you had to be there but we thought it was pretty funny hilarious yeah. Oh, is it? Is it Birdo? Yeah. What's hilarious? The little kid falling over the rock. Okay, what else is? Oh, uh, well, when we were in Italy, the first night, I forget where we were. If someone wants to correct me or tell me, oh, well, this is cool. Como. Como, yes, thank you. And we're at the restaurant, and none of us can speak Italian very well, or read it for that matter. So at this restaurant, we rocked up in the shorts and shirt we've been wearing all day, and thongs, and everyone else was, like dressed up in collared shirts and jeans and dressy shoes and looking at us weird, I'm like, okay, this isn't good, whatever. So we sat down, we tried to, to decipher what everything was, and Ray's like, no, nah, stuff it, just choose whatever you get, whatever you get, you're stuck with it. Like, okay, sweet as, we ordered whatever we wanted, or whatever we thought we wanted, and then it came. And then Ray's, Ray had lamb chops. That were good. Yep, Rob had a uh, tuna, which looked like a, a steak. steak, but yeah. surprisingly yeah, it was pretty it was good. good. Yeah. And I got potatoes. <laughs> Dad said it was potatoes. And I thought it was potatoes, and I was like, oh, look underneath. And there was fish, and it was really nice. But I was heaps cut because I thought I just had potatoes. And that's the story. You should cool always, story. The, the moral of the story is you should find out what everything is before you order it. Yep. Or just, or just look under the covers. Or, or look under the covers. Or don't judge a fish by its cover. Which is potatoes. Yeah. So if you ever get fish again, look under the potatoes, and you'll find the fish. Yep. That's my little story. What else have we been doing at every landmark? Every landmark we've been photo bombing. Photo bombing! That's photo bombing. Of yep. more video bombing. Video bombing! <laughs> video bombing! <laughs> well, yeah, photo bombing is obviously you're taking a photo and you're just going to get in the background and do a nice little pose or whatever. Ruin someone's photo. We've done that a few times. Walking along, someone's taking a photo of a train and just like walking along with massive smiles on our faces. He's like, oh, really? Well, there's one time at the Coliseum, this is Asian. Recording on a cam on JVC camcorder, the little thing at the side, looking at it. We're like walking along the whole pretty time. Sure, I'm pretty sure it was a Sony camcorder. Oh, really? Yeah. It looked like a JVC to me. No, no, definitely a Sony. Oh, definitely a Sony. <laughs> <laughs> and walking along, and she's just like, dead, not paying much attention. And I'm like this, I'm like, oh, you look. I'm sorry. Peace! And then I w kept walking, and she's like, hee 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 hee. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, because Asians do that all the time in all the photos, so like, peace, man. And it's like, peace out, like, peace, so I'm like, yo, like in a little rap movie. Speaking of Asians, what about at Pompeii? And that was a funny one. Oh, yeah, they've, yeah, got, the they've got all the drinking fountains, and because it's so hot there, there's just big fountains everywhere. Fountains. You just ch -ch -ch, turn the water on, fill your bottle up. <laughs> So good. We this exercise up. is my point we about We filled up about 10 times and we had crystal clear urine. And um, <coughs> anyway, yeah, one was just getting a photo with the old drinking fountain, as you do. We were trying to fill up and there's one going... 
But <laughs> yeah, who does that? I, uh, anyway, so, yep. Ray, what's been going on? Well, what I learned and what we all learned in Verona from the folders, these are some stories we just forgot to tell you, okay? We're like... It's like a little catch-up. It's a little catch-up. Yeah, yeah, we apologise, but yeah. Um, went out to dinner with Emma and Matthew and they taught us a thing. Hang on, we'll get a table. Um, get us a glass birdo. Yep, I'll get you two. Oh, that's sick. Alright, well, okay, in Australia, it wouldn't be uncommon to get your beer or wine and just before you eat, go cheers, clink glasses and then have a sip before it hits the table. Well, Berta hurries up with a glass, I can show you what Italians do. They've got a thing, they've got a thing where, okay, you get your glass of Do you want to whatever. sit down at the table? Yeah, we should, we should. Where's the table? There it is. Don't mind me, I've got no pants on. Me either. Okay. We're not weird or anything. I'll just cover myself up. Oh, I'll just... What a dangle. Yep, so, oh. Cheers. Does the old spinner rooney with the cup? So and was, what does it mean? It was something in Italian and it rhymed, but it basically translates to um, if you don't hit it on the table, you won't get any sex tonight, and if you don't turn it around, you won't get it up. Or as I made up, no bang, no bang, no rotate, no elevate. So that was the thing we learned. So we always do that, and it has worked so far in our showers. Yeah. Um, last thing that I learned uh, was um, stage front. What else did I learn? Oh yeah, we're out for dinner. Okay, we finally we got rid of Frank, as you know. Rest in peace, Frank. He's getting <laughs> doughies done by some. I stop photobombing um, by some Italian guys. We swear stole it. Like we didn't even pay. You anything. swear stole it. Yeah, yeah. paranoid. We, yeah, we we so just went to Hertz and some guy stole our car. But anyway. Uh, we went out for dinner, it was a long day at Pompeii, we went out for dinner and we got some pizzas, we ended up having four pizzas between us because we were pretty hungry and the couple behind us left and they left three quarters of a bottle of wine and so Rob and Berto said, you wouldn't do it and I said, oh yeah, I so would so I got their wine sneaky when no one was looking filled up the empty glass they didn't use and just went oh. and... Nice! Yeah, so free wine, Thanks. It's all good Thanks, Romans. Yeah, so <laughs> just to end the bloggy, we're left. Oh. We're left... Sorry, you got a bit boring. Oh. <laughs> we left Rome. Oh, you're looking at me. We got a we got a flight this morning, and um, now we're in Athens, and oh, Athens. it's a pretty nice room. It's got a. It's got like a ivy pool bar up the top. Twenty first floor is like a mad pool bar there overlooking Greece and you can even see the Acropolis so it's pretty good there you go. but yeah we're running out of bloggy time so unless anyone else has to say something we might have to bail yeah that's true bloggy well, out yep it's bloggy out time fader bomb woo and hopefully in our first night we're going out for dinner to some Greek place hopefully we meet some Rob's cool people move. so yeah bloggy out you saw it first bloggy.com dot au <laughs>